Yes. And that, the answer to your, your question about the old decision popping up again after doing a piece of re decision work is based more on my understanding of script. Right? That life scripts are an unconscious expression of early relational patterns that have been established. Now those patterns have been established in many different ways. When you have extreme trauma or when you have a child before the age of language, the script is formed as physiological survival reactions. It's the tension in the body, the tightening of the jaw, the, the sickness in the stomach. And that forms a nonverbal memory core. So you've got the script in the body, depending on how early it happens, or at the trauma, level of trauma. So it could happen at 12 or 14 years of age under physical trauma, or it certainly will happen out of neglect of a child under three years of age. So the, the script's in the body. Then you have things that are not talked about, either because the child doesn't have language, or the family doesn't talk about it, or it's not acknowledged in any way, and that is the experiential conclusions. Those are the little things that happen to the child, the neglect after the neglect, the criticism after criticism. Mm -hmm. As one uh, client of mine, I said to her, well, when did you decide that you were important, unimportant? And she said, I never decided I was unimportant. She said, in my family, that was reality. Now, I think she's describing those experiential conclusions. Then you have what the Gouldings wrote so beautifully about and what I wrote about in Disconnecting the Rubber Band, and that is the ability to have an explicit memory, different than those others that are mm -hmm. implicit. That explicit memory that on a certain day, at 10 years of age, I came home from school, I had this conflict with my father, I made a decision, I'm never going to learn again, and then the kid grows up being a failure, and then you see him at age 40 after he's lost four jobs, and you do a piece of redecision work, and he redecides of, I said with my dad, I'm, I'm never going to try again. Mm -hmm. Is that a real redecision? Yes. But what about how he has made those un verbalized, unthought about, even, conclusions, many times, not just at age 10, but at 7, and 5, and 4, and maybe 2, where he gave up trying along the way. And that that 10-year-old decision was putting words to his experience that had no mm -hmm. words. Now, therapy-wise, I love doing redecision therapy because it's it's often quick, it's powerful, it's dramatic, and I feel good as a therapist. But I also know that we're only going to resolve experiential conclusions through much more of a relational therapy, mm -hmm. of a being together and a, a drawing out the transference, working with the story that it emerges, not just the transference with me, but the stories they tell are what Freud called the transferences of everyday life. And how that person comes back and continually reinforces those script beliefs on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And that's a much slower process. And it requires really being involved. And then if you're going to deal with the much more primitive level of script or the more traumatic level of script, I think we have to have a bodily-oriented therapy. Now. You can do that without even touching, although I do do a lot of touching. I do massage, work with people to help them express mm -hmm. that feeling. But you can use yoga movement. But mostly what I do is awareness. Saying to people, you know, feel your jaw right now. What's going on in your jaw? What's happening in your chest? And taking them into the memory of, in their body, taking the physiological experience, integrating with the affect, and finally turning that affect into language so it's cognitive. 
And that's what I mean by integration. Physiological, integrated with affect, affect integrated with cognition, so that behavior is by choice in the current context and not out of compulsion, mm -hmm. not out of reaction against something, uh, not out of compliance, not out of conditioning. Yeah. That. I love this. <laughs> <laughs>